Let's talk about the Apple Watch Series 3. There's been so much talk about the iPhone 8, iPhone 8, iPhone 8, iPhone 8, iPhone 8. Everything's been about the iPhone 8. But there's going to be other products released along with iPhone 8. That's not going to be called iPhone 8. iPhone Edition, that's what it's going to be called. My prediction. But this is going to be the 7S, the 7S Plus. And one of my favorites, the Apple Watch Series 3. I have the Apple Watch Series 2 right here. I'm not going to get the Series 3 unless this YouTube channel explodes. One of my videos has 500 views. Great job, great job, guys. Thank you, thank you. I have the Apple Watch Series 2. It's great. But let's get into some of the rumors for the Apple Watch Series 3. Three, which is gonna come out next month in September at the very special and gonna be iconic September 2017 keynote. First of all, let's talk about the price. The price is gonna be the same as the Series 2 right now. That price is 350 for the 38 millimeter and 400 for the 42 millimeter, which I have. I have the $400 watch right here. That's great news that the price is staying the same because the iPhone 8 is gonna cost a whole lot of money. Rumors are having that at 1,200, 1,400. That's gonna be a lot. I mean, it has to. Go check out the video right here. That's gonna be a lot. But that's great news that the Apple Watch Series 3 is gonna be the same price as the Series 2. And with that, the Series 2 is gonna get even $100 cheaper. The exact same thing with the Series 1. And the Series 2 is great. I'm probably gonna have a review on that soon. Just look out for that. There's not really much you could do with an Apple Watch, right? But all these leaks for the Apple Watch Series 3 has a lot on the table for the new watch that really I couldn't even think of. Let's take a look at that display. The next special iPhone is is gonna have an OLED display. The watch I have on my wrist right now has an OLED display. So Apple has already been dealing with OLED displays for years now. But the next big technology in displays is micro LEDs. And this upcoming Apple Watch might have a micro LED display. I doubt it, but it might. It may not be this year, but it's gonna come soon to the Apple Watch micro LED displays. There's also been a rumor that Apple is specifically focusing on battery life with the next Apple Watch. I can say the Apple Watch along with the iPad are one of the best two Apple products you could buy with battery life. The Apple Watch can last you about one and a half days if you have the Series 2. I don't know about the Series 1 or Series 0. The Series 2 has a ton of battery life and since it's a watch and most regular watches have unlimited battery life, Apple's trying to tap into that potential and probably make this Apple Watch Series 3 battery life three days to four days. And how to do that is to make the Apple Watch slightly bigger, put a bigger battery in there and probably make a new design a little bit and add a brand new swath of smart bands. Yes, smart bands. Apple is sure in love make smart bands. They have the regular sport bands. They have the Nike branded sport bands. They have the Milanese Loop. They have the $400 expensive Hermes bands that don't make any sense. They have the woven nylon bands. They have a bunch of bands available. And now they might finally tap into that secret port on the Apple Watch, which allows for data in that secret port to be passed on from band to the watch. That allows for battery bands, maybe sleep tracking bands, other health bands, like the very revolutionary glucose monitoring band. I know someone who would love to have that. That will definitely help their lives. If Apple gets this glucose monitoring band down, they could have a breakthrough in the medical industry. And it's gonna be a great breakthrough. It's gonna help the lives of many. There's also a rumor that the Apple Watch is gonna have a new design. A takeaway from the design that's a square and a little hump on the back for the wireless charger. Apple is reportedly moving away from this design. And that makes sense. This little hump on the back for the wireless charger is unnecessary. And that makes sense because the iPhone 8 is gonna be capable of wireless charging, but it's definitely not gonna have the same wireless charging as this Apple Watch here. So to make that wireless charger seamless, I think Apple's gonna change the Apple Watch back and make it more flat to match the iPhone 8's wireless charging. And that does make sense from Apple's perspective. Make the iPhone and Apple Watch an even better combo with that wireless charging. And here's the two main hardware features that could really separate this Apple Watch Series 3 from previous Apple Watch series. It's gonna have LTE built into it so we can get all its data for the weather, for messaging, for the calls, all without the phone, just by hitting up all those cell towers for AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, and any other carrier you have, it's gonna fit on this very small package on your wrist. That's one rumored feature. The other is a 
FaceTime camera. And that FaceTime camera would probably be built in into one of those smart bands. And that's gonna make a nice lineup of smart bands. You got a sleep tracking watch band. You got a FaceTime camera watch band. You got a glucose monitoring watch band. You got a battery watch band. That's gonna be a super smart move on Apple to just upgrade the Apple Watch game. And I just wanna say one thing. We actually for sure know the name. It's, it's gonna be called Apple Watch Series 3. Unlike iPhone 8, it's not gonna be called iPhone 8. That's all that we know from rumors on the next Apple Watch. It might have a new design. It might support LTE. It might have a swath of smart bands and it might support the iPhone 8's wireless charger. I love your thoughts on the Apple Watch Series 3 in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.